yeah, devises to Westminster Canoe Race. Certainly a thing of legend in, in the world of canoeing. 125 miles um, from Devizes in Wiltshire, finishing under Westminster Bridge in the centre of London. Um, you get out to run around all the, the locks and weirs in between, 77 of those in total. It's a pretty tough undertaking. Some guys are out there for 30 plus hours trying to, trying to finish the event, and the faster guys are down in 15 or 16 hours. Um, we, we decided to have a crack this year for, for a number of reasons. We wanted to do it because we needed something to do which wasn't focusing on work. Um, we spend a lot of time working and uh, if you, that can take over if you're not careful. We've got a, we've, we've got a small business that's growing and uh, having, a, having something which is big and scary to focus on can actually you know, get you up a bit earlier in the morning or get you to clock off from the office at the sensible time in the evening to make sure you get something else done. So it was, it was mainly for that reason I would say. Andy and I have both got pretty strong sporting backgrounds and you naturally kind of your mind drifts to think about, you know, could, could you get on the podium, could you have a crack at winning it in the right year? But, but I do think kind of for Andy and I, the most important thing was, was the process, getting out and doing the training, enjoying that, spending some time not, not in the office um, and going out and finishing the race because it is a long way. I'd only paddled four hours before I started the, the race at Easter weekend. Um, and I think that the, the biggest thing was to make sure we got the job done, really. In terms of worrying about what could or couldn't go wrong in the race, I actually, although I've, I've done a lot more ultra endurance stuff than Johnny has, it's been in different sports. And I think my biggest fear was doing something technically wrong. Started yours. <laughs> I knew I was going to be a bit slower than he would be used to on the portages and I know that my paddling technique, yeah, quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit slower. Yeah. Um, I've, got, I've, got, no I've got a gammy knee though. Yeah. Um, so, and he's 40 this year and actually. I am, yeah, yeah, I'm getting old. But I felt that I was under pressure not to let him down on, on getting those things right. That was where the pressure was coming for me. I think also, I didn't, I, I, I definitely don't, doubt this man but he he was he went into this untested over anything more than about six or seven hours and i know that it's four uh, hours yeah. i know that it's uh, you can get into a deep dark hole mentally yeah. and he's he's got a good he's got a good racing head on his shoulders and all that sort of thing and, and actually a, a good generally a good uh, work ethic and mentality but genuinely you don't know your partner until you've been in a boat for them with them for 12 hours and yeah it's funny because my, my concerns would be actually pretty similar to Andy's you know it's it's a case of not letting not letting your mate down he's got a lot of experience going long and deep he's done the DW before and, and did pretty well so it was, it was the unknown of the distance for me really I had no problem with sitting on my ass and paddling you just don't know what's going to happen after 10 hours or 15 hours or 17 hours you know so it's a long way I, I think if I had one very specific fear as well it was freezing cold minus temperatures skinny triathletes because right I, I just don't yeah I Keep don't on. I don't like <laughs> I don't mind the cold psychologically but my hands and feet just go down the nutrition strategy I, I said to Johnny at on numerous occasions when we're doing our early long paddling session I said remember it's a, it's an eating race as well as a paddling race because I've done enough of these things to know that you have to eat an uncomfortably large amount of calories that you at some point won't feel like eating and you know not not to not in any negative sense but Johnny was very keen to paddle for a couple of hours without eating anything and stuff and you know from my experience as a sports scientist and working with athletes I know that you can train your gut to process more food and more fluid to a degree so we we spent a lot of time experimenting we settled on um, largely solid calories so we were using flapjack bites boiled potatoes with butter and salt on them we were using uh, little cake bars and sweet boiled sweets were a really good one because as you push off from a portage we got the support crew to put a boiled sweet in your mouth that then kept you going for two or three minutes and, and you know so we we had a lot of solid food and then we were obviously we, we were drinking largely our own drinks the precision hydration stuff which is electrolyte replacement because you're sweating quite a lot with all that clothing on and a, a very small amount of calories 
hypertonic fluid so it was absorbed quickly and listen to your body through the course of the race because definitely the kind of demands that my body was what it was asking me for changed as we went through sometimes i just craved water sometimes the electrolytes tasted great sometimes i wanted sweet food a lot of the time though, i was reaching for the, the new potatoes with butter and salt and those things tasted really good so kind of learning to listen to what your body wanted at any one time is is probably the and trusting that is probably the biggest thing i would say for me since i kind of finished paddling quite seriously i've had a real break from from that sport and, and really training all together. So it's, it's been a good gateway for me to get back on the drug, really, uh, which has been brilliant. Yeah, we, we definitely benefited from the process. And even though that the end goal was disappointing to have it cut short, it was, it was a good thing. It was a good process to go through. It also helped, um, you know, on a very practical level for DW, if we do decide to go again next year or, or beyond, which is all Steady. to be discussed, we, we, we gained a massive amount of experience. And we're three weeks after it now, but you, and even now the memories of the pain have started to fade, but they're still fresh enough to remember that it was, it got pretty nasty at times. And that, that always happens. We, we went into it really quite well prepared in all aspects except for the sheer volume of training. I don't think you can ever get enough volume of training in for that race to make it, you're clearly never gonna make it easy. But I would, I would like to think I would find a way to do more overall volume of training. Not only by maybe 20 or 30%, but that would, that would be my biggest takeaway. I think other than that, I don't wanna pat us on the back too much, but we got, we got most things pretty much spot on. It's, it, it'd, be, it'd be polishing the details and basically doing more miles is how I would change my approach next time. We couldn't have done it without the support of um, family, girlfriend, you know, work, colleagues. Yeah, it's a real team effort pulling together a logistical um, a race like that that requires such massive logistical input. Um, so massive thanks to everyone involved, really. From my side, it was definitely as much, we got fantastic support on the ground from my dad came out. Johnny's dad led the support crew with um, his girlfriend, Anna, and some of our Paul some Yates. friends, Paul Yates, Paul Yates as well. Yeah, and Alex and Claire who came out on their yeah. mountain bikes. But the the thing for me was my wife, I've got two small children, um, my little girl's one, my little boy's four. So um, it's difficult for me to get out and do the training. My wife was very supportive of me doing that on a Friday night and on a Saturday morning. And, and that, that's really where the family impact is, not just the race itself, but for that. So that, that was all good. There yeah, was... everyone involved, massive thanks yeah. from, from Andy and I, really appreciate it.